Yeah, so welcome back to part two of Lingate Tunnel. Um, we've had our Cadbury's fingers and a cup of tea. Sat up there, I'll just flick up where we was. We were sat right on the top there. Um, we've done 10 times. That's where we were sat looking over and I'll give you all the facts and figures, having a brew. And we, we got down from there, but as you can see, it's one wet tunnel and uh, we're going to head back now, but what I'm going to do on this video now as we head back, I'm just going to do you snippets of interest that we've seen and you can just see the water. Uh, but just here, we've left a little momentum today for me and Steve's visit. We always like leaving something in a tunnel. And there it is for the next adventurer that comes down Lingate Tunnel. You've got SpongeBob square pants. And that was me and Steve when we came in this tunnel. <laughs> Steve and Mark square pants when we seen how much water was in the bloody thing. So I'll pause it here until we get further on to some points of interest, because this is going to be like a points of interest bit. Uh, heading back. It's very dark. And. Um, Again, just the bits that you can see the the, uh, the light in it now. And I'm going to get my laser pen back out and uh, see if we can do a bit of laser work. So I'll just pause it here for now until we get a bit further in. And again, another bit of interest. You can just see how much water is coming down from above. You can just see it there. And I'm going to do a little snippet to the rest of you just light it up a bit. You can just see how much water there is um, just bouncing down. And we've got to go all the way back down the dark tunnel. And here we go, we're back under the shafts again. And this is shaft number four, probably the wettest of them all. Um, I'll get another shot of that going up for you. If you just see all the rain coming down it. There you go. I want a shot. How wet's that? And you just see all the rain coming down it. There's the pen just picking all the dust up now that you can see. What a wet shaft that is. And you can just see the laser picking the dust up then. Wow. Oh. One wet shaft. And there we go. Just under on a pile of bricks. We're getting back in the TARDIS. Time to head back down. So from shaft number four, I'm going to video all these shafts now um, in Lingate Tunnel, the wettest of them all, shaft number four. I'll we'll see you a bit later on down the line. Again, some of the navvies uh, that's been redone in this tunnel, just showing you that. 
uh, bits of interest you can see the brickwork where they read on it to support it and we're on 24 <laughs> I'll pause it again I just want to show you places of interest now on this second uh, video again all the rubble that I highlighted before um, I think that's come when they've been doing renewal work on the tunnel but there's two shafts that they completely filled in and collapsed so maybe a lot of that was from one of them so there's only four tunnels four shafts keep saying tunnels four shafts left out of the six so I think a lot of that has come from when they've just you know when they've pinned it at the top and they've just capped it they've just sent all the crap down you just look in the corner now turn the light off you can just see the little light where me and Steve were having our break with our cup of tea <laughs> and there's Steve with his uh, all the gear on today and again you can just see all the waterways that drains he put in soaking all the water on a very wet day I'll just send the camera and you can see it while running away <laughs> but they've definitely laid some more bed on this track there we go not much water in that and there we go department for transport told them six shaft three and uh, if you look at this shaft I'll shine a torch on it as a video it you can see where they pinned it on the top there can you see you shine my torch it's all been pinned and there's not as much water coming down on that one uh, still trickle it's coming down as you can see if you look right to the top you can see where they've capped it um, but the brickwork absolutely fantastic on these shafts absolutely brilliant so that's shaft number three it's had a lot of pinning work and brickwork done on it and again a bit of tunnel art which is always nice to see um, and it'll match our SpongeBob SquarePants that we've left down there for Sunday <laughs> in the recess. And here we go, another mound of, again, come from the Vidarium work, but uh, we'll just find the number just here. A lot more rain coming down this one this time. Not the first. The the last tunnel was the worst, wasn't it? There you go, you can just see all the water just flits coming down. I'm getting wet here, actually. Um, but just look at the brickwork on it. It amazes me how engineering on that is unbelievable. And it's lasted, you know. And as always, watch where I'm walking. There you go. Shaft number two. Ooh, what's that? James doing the walk. Now we've got a bit of a muddy patch here, so I'm just going to pause it here again. And again, just some more bit of interest on railways. People will ask, what were the brackets on the wall for? And they made of wood these. You thought they'd have been made of steel, but they've lasted. And uh, they're like um, a channel which had some kind of cabling. And I would say this will be for the um, the points or the signals that they run the cables down the line of the tunnel. But these are not new. If that had been new today, they'd have been done in steel, you know, uh, or all old wood. And you see them all down Lingate Tunnel. Uh, but that's what they were for when I researched it. It was for cables <coughs> along the line, I would say, for signals. And I'll just show you one that we've seen before. There you go, one of the old navvy points where the the uh, the back of it's just gone back to what's behind it. And uh, so nice, the colours and the stone. Again, built to last. It's like metal, isn't it? Yeah, and again, th these are all, this is one uncovered, but you can see all the drainage they've put in. All the others that's got caps on, 
um, you can actually see how the water runs down. So there's like a, you'll see these all the way along the tunnel. So there's a lot of drainage being put in this tunnel. Although it's wet in parts and quite deep in parts on the wellies where it went over our wellies and you know we've got wet socks, it is doing its job to be honest with you. I'll just pause it there a minute. There you go, there's the drains again that was on about before doing the job. And just here, we're on the last shaft. <laughs> um, for those that's asking, it's Department for Transport, Oldham 6, Shaft 1. And uh, here we go. I'll try and get a better shot for you on the last, the last shaft. Looking up. Because it's so dark, it's hard, but you can just see at the top where they've capped it on shaft one. We've got driplets coming down on this one, and uh, how wet's that? But the colours just amaze me, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. And that's what it's like without the torch. Huh? <laughs> and there you go with the light on it, just bouncing off it. Oh, you get, you get pretty wet, can you hear it? <laughs> Well, amazing shafts. And that's the, uh, the last shaft. Shaft number one, number 55. We're in. Now this is what we're going to have cut off here now. If you remember, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Uh, so you just hang on there a minute, mate. We've got a hell of... The, the, it doesn't pick it up off the walls because they're full of soot. But it's really flooded here now. And uh, this is where it came over our wellies. Uh, before, so this is the worst part uh, of the tunnel. I'll try and drop the light and just put my uh, headlight on it, really, see if that picks it up. Uh, try and get a better shot of it, really, see, but it's hard, it, it's just not picking any of the uh, water up here, but it, it is quite quite deep in this section. Um, so we're just going to pause it here for a minute and uh, hopefully it doesn't go over our bodies again. <laughs> and see if we can get through this one. We'll catch you in a minute. I know you might not see it, but that was the worst part of uh, the tunnel, to be honest with you. And just to the light at the end, you see the little dot? That's where we were sat having a brew, and that's with the lights virtually off now. Uh, but this was the hardest part to get through, and again, done over our wellies. It's quite deep in parts. Again, you can just see the drains. That one's well overflowed and all the water coming back in. But it's clear water if you see, it's clean as a coming through all the stone. Yeah. yeah. And there we go, we're going through the, uh, the water again. Just show you how wet it is this tunnel. <laughs> and you can just see the colour. Um, this is what amazed us before the colours of the walls where the water's come down. Um, it's just it's amazing, isn't it? Just All the water. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just picking up all the dust now. And again, you can see where they've done all the grates where they've been doing repair work on the tunnel. And just right in the distance, you can see our little spot where we're on our cup of tea before. <laughs> oh, sorry, Steve. 
There's obviously been some kind of work going on here. Hey? That's what? Yeah. <laughs> well, just look at that, it's the colours on it there. Keep it running till we go out now. Uh -huh. We can just see how wet it is. All the water we're going through now. A lot of it's wet and some parts of it dry. Um, the middle probably the worst. We didn't think we was going to get over that but we braved it and we got to the end and I'm glad we did really come in so far. Uh, I'm glad we did. Again, Navi's two-man ideal for when the trains came through. And uh, the beam just picking up all the dust now. Just send me laser, there you go. That's where oh, we're that's heading back out now. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's just picking up all the dust. Yeah. Yeah. And if you can just see where I'm pointing, there's another fence there. Um, the range on that laser pen is unbelievable, to be honest with you. And if I point it the other way, sorry Steve. Right at the end there, it'll hit. It'll hit where we was right at the end, uh, where the light is. And that's a laser. And then get it on. You can just see it pointing where, where it ends, that's where we were sat having a brew. One dark tunnel. <laughs> Can you just see how much water we've walked through today? And you can see why they put all the, the drainage in. What we come prepared today, well, is we thought we'd have to climb to get in here. We didn't need our extendable ladders today, see? But just look at the the rain and there you go, that's what we're walking through. But the train's doing the job. It all cleans that water. All clean. It'd be nice to get some fresh air because and I have a meter on my bag, people don't realise it's hidden in the side of my bag that picks up any gases in tunnels, bit of a, it alerts you to any uh, carbon gases and that's not gone off at all today, which I didn't expect it to, but uh, we always come prepared for everything when we do these railway walks, especially tunnels. Two man happy again. And we're back to where we started, if you remember. The wheelbarrow's still here, <laughs> 77. If you can just see how much water's coming in. The gate's open today, so we didn't have to do any climbing today, it was good. But you can see some of the, the pipe work that they've probably been uh, piping water out. 
78 is where we started or was it 79 I can't remember um, and this is where we started over about an hour and a half um, yeah about an hour 40 minutes and you can just see the rain still coming down and uh, just look at the rain this portal has been propped up so it's not probably secure that's why we've got the, the hard hats on and our ladders are still in the corner space Sorting me back. Bag out. Oh. You get so much stuff, but if you just look at this portal here, the reason when it was all capped off, the, the air holes above, it's all for bats and uh, all bats coming in. I put the ladders here, Steve. Yeah. You can just see where they've, they've strengthened it. Uh, no, we come prepared. We didn't need the ladders today in the bag. So there we go, there's Lingate Tunnel in Groton in Oldham. One long tunnel. I'm going to send the laser down for one last time. There you go. Um, just picks up some of the dust sometimes but one wet tunnel and uh, I try to do a bit of points of interest for you on this second video because you've seen the full walk coming in and uh, I'm going to get a breather out here now and then we're going to go above and have a quick look at the shafts above and uh, And normally, probably years, 1964 was the last train that came down this tunnel. And uh, I'll probably never do this tunnel again, so cheers Lingate Tunnel for me uh, granddad Walter Wynn Stanley. This one's for you. The now arrived at platform four and a half is the 6.15 to Lingate Tunnel. And we're just leaving Lingate Tunnel. So I'll post it here and give you a view from the outside. And here we go from Hacks Railway Trail, that's the end of Lingate Tunnel, we've conquered it, we've got to the end, well it's completely wet feet, and it's just luck, we didn't need to uh, climb it today, but we have the ladders to keep it there, but we've got over here. We'll just look at the water that's coming down here now, so we're just going to show you all the water that's coming down uh, into this tunnel. And the houses all above, if you can just flick up on that too, we'll just show the houses above there. And we're going to go above in a minute and just um, find what's above there and just show you and add it onto this video. So if you look behind you, if you swing the camera around, Steve, and that's the shot that we're going to leave you. We've got to find our way all the way back through this vegetation, all this swamp, and uh, we're going to head over the top then. So I'm just going to pause it till I come out of here, because then I'm going to show you where the railway station was, which is now a house, and the embankment before we go on top. So I'll catch you in a bit. And again, you can just see where all the uh, subsidence has come down, all the brickworks come down. So let's just have a look at the, the front of the tunnel, of Lingate Tunnel. And uh, just stand back a bit and then we'll get a better the picture of it. But that's what we've hit today. And uh, Steve, if you want to stand in, that'd be a good picture for you. Steve in front of Lingate Tunnel. He's conquered it, we've done it. We might have wet feet. <laughs> 
and we've got to go back all the way down here now. I'm going to pause it and show you where the station house is and where the track run to. We'll catch you in a bit. Well, that's what we've had to come through today to get to Lingate Tunnel. And I tell you what, it's hard work, I tell you. <laughs> um, you're right up to your well, isn't it? And if you don't keep moving, you just think, you know. Maybe it's because we're a bit overweight, me and Steve, I don't know. <laughs> we're sinking quicker. <laughs> I could do yeah. I could lose some but weight. That's where Lingate Tunnel is. And to get to it, it is hard work. But you know what? That's been enjoyable today. And as you can see, along here now, I'll take you and show you where the original station was, which is still here today. It's a private house. But look at the wall here, all leading down to the platform. And uh, I've cut a lot out because it gets monotonous. But if you think I'm out of breath a little bit, I'm carrying these ladders, <laughs> my fold up ladders, all my stuff on my back, and then you're sinking in mud up to up to the top of your wellies, and then you can't move, <laughs> and it does make it hard work. But it has been enjoyable. But just look at that the original wall, still there, and we should pick up. See it either side leading up to the tunnel. How good would, would have this looked in its day? And I'm going to do a little clip show uh, alongside this video that will show you what it was like in its heyday. Uh, sadly, the last train to come down was 1964. And here we go. What a find this is. Uh, the original platform still there and you can just see it there it, it goes down and then cradles up the original platform and just in the distance you can probably see the stacks dimly stacks the original station house that we're going to show you now we didn't want to show you this on the way in because it was more about the tunnel but you imagine in its heyday how many people would have been stood on this platform waiting it wouldn't have all been overgrown then, you've been able to see the tunnel from here and seeing a steam train shooting down this line and my granddad driving it. It's just so nice to go back in time um, following his footsteps on um, 45 years service that he had in the railway and it's get a bit sentimental sometimes when you start looking back. Um, and it's bits of advice I'd say to anybody when you're growing up get as much detail off your dad and granddad about things because once they're gone you, you've lost all that history and dates and the knowledge they've got luckily I had the knowledge of my dad's books that he left a bit of a legacy that I read in Covid that has brought me here today so I am getting a bit sentimental <laughs> and when you hear the fake little giggle like that it's my way of kind of pulling myself together but and here we go this is where we started and this will bring us out and I'll show you the original station which was at the side of Lingate Tunnel and there's a nice little header board here as well that um, we can put some of it. But there it is, the platform outside the station. All overgrown now, yeah, and you know what? I'd love somebody to re, bit of heritage, spend some money on this and recreate that. That would be a terrific cycle path, absolutely. But unfortunately councils and regions just haven't got the funds now to, to do these uh, projects. But I'm gonna show you the original Station now, station house, which is still here running alongside. And I hope the owner doesn't mind us taking a bit of a video, a bit of a sneak video. But there you go, just flip my camera around. There's the original station house, private house, and you can see they've kept some of the original features. They've got like the Navi's uh, hideaway behind his car there. I don't want to flick too much, but that is the original station house and they've kept a lot of the 
features on it, which is so nice to see. But what a great walk that was today, and we're just walking back down now. That's the trail we've come. <laughs> and it's been quite a long trail today. We've cut a long bit of the trail out. I'll just show you where we've come. There's the station house. I'll just flip the camera over. That's the trail that we followed down earlier on to get to Lingate Tunnel. Uh, but I'm just going to show you this heading board here at the moment, which gives you all the information on about Rotten Station. And there you go. And it just highlights the line what it used to be like. And you can pause this on your video if you're watching it on your large screen. And uh, and there you go. And that's roughly where the tunnel was just there that we've done so I'm going to pause it here and then we're going to have a walk on top and see if we can find the uh, the the air shafts that we walked under so I'll catch you in a minute and there's the original station house just get your shot in it how good's that superb 